Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to export a map from ArcGIS Pro. There's a lot of functionality, a lot of options, and we're really going to try to do this as quickly as we can and show you the absolute basics. So what we have here is a project. Uh, here we've got a Worldview 2 image overlain by a shapefile, which has our ground truth points, uh, each labeled in white text. If you want to get those labels, the way I did that was right click, label to turn it on, and then labeling properties to adjust the size and color. So to export this map, um, the first thing we're going to do is go to Insert tab, New Layout, and we're going to choose a landscape size piece of paper. That's going to open up this Layout tab, which we can think of as kind of being a blank piece of paper sitting on a desk, and you're looking down on the desk. Then we're going to insert a map frame, and I'm going to just left click and hold and drag the shape of the map frame that I want, and it's going to display my underlying uh, map project. And to get the zoom correct, uh, what I do is right click and go to activate, and that basically lets you start working not on the piece of paper, but actually working within the map or within that kind of map view that you put on there. So I'm going to use my roller wheel to adjust my zoom, make sure I can get my full raster on the piece of paper here. Once I'm happy with that, uh, actually I can go to layout and close activation. And that brings me back to kind of working on the piece of paper. So next thing I'm going to go to insert and add a couple features to this map. I'm going to do a north arrow and a scale bar but uh, their default is to come out with black outline and black text. It's kind of a pain to change it. So before I do that, I'm actually going to just make a white rectangle over here. And then I'm going to put them on this white rectangle. So I'm going to right click properties of my rectangle and go into symbol right here, appearance. I'm going to make it a uh, white fill with kind of maybe a thickish gray background so it looks okay. I'll hit apply. Then I'm going to go up and get my north arrow. Use this style. Left click and hold to size that. So that seems like a decent size. Probably too big. And I'll do the same with my scale bar. I like to use this big chunky one. I'm going to left click and hold to drag the, the size of that. And then kind of center it up here. Notice it's in miles, that doesn't make sense. I'm going to right click and go to properties. Lots of choices. I believe we want uh, this first one, map units. I'm going to change that into meters. So there we got a 40 meter scale bar. Maybe I'll make it a little wider, see if I can get 50. Sounds good. Okay, just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and add a little text title. Use this rectangle text tool up here. So I'll left click and drag that. Uh, I've got a little example text already highlighted. I'm going to call it crown point GTPs. Probably misspelled it. I'm then going to highlight that text, go over to text symbol, and See if I can change it maybe to size 28. Uh, I'm going to fill that with a white color and a white outline. Hit apply. Realize I've misspelled it, of course. And that's just a little title, nothing fancy, but that's how you can get text onto your map. Uh, final thing I'll do is add a latitude and longitude grid. So I'm going to click, make, make sure I'm highlighting my map frame. Uh, and then under the Insert tab, again, I get this Grid option. You can see lots of different options. I'm going to choose a measured grid, which in this case is going to give me a UTM coordinate system instead of a lat lawn. And I'm going to choose the one that has the kind of more flush numbering. So uh, that opened up the essentially properties of my grid over here on the right hand side. I want to do a 200 meter grid spacing so I'm going to uncheck this sync values and I actually think I need to uncheck I need to un go to this tab here 
options and uncheck automatically adjust the interval. And then weirdly go back to this other tab and change the interval for the labels to be 200 meters. Change the interval for the ticks to be 200 me meters. And change the interval for the grid lines to be 200 meters. So with all that done, we now have uh, a UTM grid 200 meter spacing. Final thing I can do is go back to labels and I can uncheck the labels on the south and east side of the map because I don't need those redundant labels. So now I just have them around the edge. So I feel that I'm ready to export this. And to do that, I'm going to actually have to go over to share, to the share tab, export layout. And this is going to bring up the export dialog. Lots of choices here, PDF, file path, uh, quality, uh, lots of different choices. I'm going to go to 400 DPI, let you mess with this, but when you're done, you just hit export and you should have a PDF or a JPEG or whatever you desire. Thanks.